Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Andrea. Obviously, I'm going to do something I never ever do. I am going to do a kind of TBR. Now, I don't do TBRs because I am a mood reader, but just recently I've taken a stack of books from my shelves of things I know I want to read soon. So it is sort of a TBR, but it's not going to be a TBR that I'm going to necessarily read all of them in June. But they're next to my bed. I have a stack of three stacks of books by my bed. I have my books that I've read in the month, ready for a wrap up, which I still haven't done, which will be done next. Um, the books I'm currently reading, which should should only be one or two, but it's actually a lot more because I've got some poetry books there. And um, the books I hopefully plan on reading. So usually I'm in bed when I'm reading. If I finish a book, I don't want to get up and go and get one. I just grab the next one off the pile because it's something I know I want to read soon. These are those books. So and the next one on the list, which will be the next one I actually read, is Karen Slaughter's Last Breath. This is a novella prequel to The Good Daughter, which I've already read. So I'm looking forward to this one. So basically it's about what happened to Charlie Quinn uh, when her childhood came to an end. Um, two men with a grudge against her father break into her home and she's never the same. And then she, I think she's um, disabled. Uh, a lawyer herself she defends those with no one else to turn to. So this is about a girl named Flora who becomes her client. Um, so it's not going to take me very long. I could probably polish this off tonight if I wanted to. It is the next book on the list. I will be reading this soon. Obviously, you know I'm still reading War and Peace, okay? I'm still reading War and Peace. I haven't finished it yet. Okay, let me just find it for you. It's by my bed and I am that much through this is obviously the Penguin Cloth Band Classic. I am on page 578 of maps, notes. There's lots of notes in here. I always love that about these books. Right, anyway, I'm near the end. Um, so it, there are 1358 and I'm on page 578. And I'm not having a problem with this. It's just very heavy. And I like to read it before bed, three or four chapters, maybe five or six, depending on um, how I'm feeling. But I am getting through it slowly. I want to finish it by the end of the year. That's my, my goal. I have War Horse by Michael Morpurgo. Um, obviously, we all know this was made into the fabulous stage play. I've never seen it. I've never read it. This is about this is about a horse who is in uh, the First World War and witnesses the reality battle from both sides of the trenches and it's told from the, the point of view from the horse much like Black Beauty is that I'm really looking forward to this this is also beautifully illustrated Look at these fantastic illustrations Look at that. how beautiful those illustrations are and this was in that box of 30 books that I got from eBay so I'm really pleased to be reading this very very soon one I picked up at the boot sale I actually picked up for Jennifer but she's not quite at that reading level yet she's almost there she's reading really well um, and it is The Adventures of the Wishing Chair by Enid Blyton now I read these when I was Jennifer's age um, and this is about Molly and Peter who have a magic wishing chair and takes them on uh, adventures. So I am looking forward to rereading this and reliving part of my childhood, which was very good. <laughs> it, well, it had its moments, it had bad times as well, but you know, read the, the books I read as a child that I can remember reading that I really, really hold dear. There's a lot of stories I can't remember what they're called that I read, particularly ones in school. Completely different from Ian O'Blyton, but on the list is Tess Gerritsen playing with fire. What if your child wanted you dead? Yeah, so then you know what that's about. So yeah, I love, um, again, Tess Gerritsen's one of those authors. I've read loads of her books over the years. This is one I haven't, I've got it in hardback, so I will be adding it to the permanent collection. Um, yeah, so when you look at her, what do you see? She's my daughter, of course. I think she's perfect in every way. But, but, my throat chokes to whisker. I'm afraid of her now. It's, it sounds really good. What if your child wanted you dead? Yeah, no, looking forward to this one. Obviously I'll go into more depth when I've read it, when I do a wrap up, which I'm not very good at doing those. The main reason is because I'm so behind in doing my reading journal. 
another one is <clears throat> that I want to read that I've never read is Terry Pratchett John Johnny and the Bomb. Now, mostly I've read of Terry Pratchett. I love I love him. His short story collections, and obviously the entire Discworld series, all of them. I have them all in hardback, except for Eric. Is Eric paperback? I think Eric's a paperback. It might be. I don't know anymore. I've lost the plot. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is one who is non-Discworld. This is Johnny and the Bomb. Um, his neighbour holds the key to different times and different eras, including the Blackbury Blitz in 1941. Now, Blackbury is a village that appears in a lot of Pratchett short stories, and yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. It's going to be fun. I'm so lucky. I got this um, from, not from eBay, I, got, I think I got three hardback Pratchetts from somebody on Facebook, from one of the Pratchett groups, every now and again. Friend, uh, people offer their um, charity shop finds or their doubles. So that was that was from that. CL Taylor Sleep. <clears throat> yes. Anna wants to be able to sleep. Paralyzed insomnia, terrifying nightmares, and memories of the horrific day. I'm showing she didn't feel so guilty. Each of the guests has a secret. She so she's um. Uh, working at a hotel on a remote Scottish island there's a murderer so yeah that sounds really good uh, that's my kind of novel I love the creepy house on the cover I, 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 it can't be a hotel it's not big enough but it's a definitely a creepy house then lover or hater the next one is Colleen Hoover it ends with us obviously this has just been made into a film um, I mean, obviously it's all about domestic violence and stuff like that I've not read it but she does a lot of that sort of writing um, but yeah do you, do you know what I I'm up for reading anything and, and it, so I tend to, to stay away from really popular books um, that everybody wants to goes mad about and I sort of think well I will read it one day but I'm not gonna read it yet this is like that I will read it this is now in the pile to be read. I've got a couple of Colleen Hoover's on my shelf, along with some Taylor Jenkins reads. But um, yes, so I've put that in the pile to finally read. Lisa Jewell, then when she's gone, then, then she was gone. I loved Lisa Jewell. So this is about a, a 15 year old girl named Ellie who disappears, and her mother is trying to find her and never gives up on her coming back. Then she meets um, a stranger, a man who sweeps off his feet, but her nine, his, his nine-year-old daughter is the image of Ellie. So, ooh, could this be something naughty going on here? We'll find out, looking forward to it. I love Lisa Jewell, her book's absolutely fantastic. Uh, only two more to go. Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. I read the guest list, I love the guest list. The guest list was brilliant. So, this is obviously set in Paris in an apartment and it's secrets behind every residence door. There's a lonely wife, party animal, curtain twitcher, secret lover, watchful caretaker and unwanted guest. And there is a murder who holds the key to the mystery of apartment three. So yes, I did really enjoy the guest list. So I'm really looking forward to starting the Paris apartment. And the last one in my pile is one you just saw in my book haul, and that is Elantris by uh, Brandon Sanson. The reason that's in the pile is Chris has asked me, have you read it yet? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I've got it. Uh, I haven't read it. You do not have over 500 books physically that I need to read because I don't just read fantasy fiction like you do. I read everything. <laughs> I read romance and I read horror and I read gothic and I read classics and I read fantasy and I read non-fiction I don't just read one genre so I, yeah but that's in the pile so that's what I'm planning to read next now I'm not gonna say I'm actually gonna read all of those I may decide oh actually I fancy reading Peter James or oh I fancy uh let's have a look what we got what can we see from here oh oh I fancy reading Crooked Kingdom or uh Oh, hang on a minute, I, I, I quite fancy The Trial, or She, or I'm Watching You. But these are the books that I'm planning on reading because when I'm in bed I can't bother to get out. And if I finish a book and I want to start a book, I'm going to pick one of these. But generally I do tend to stick to the pile. So what will happen is this pile will remain as is until I 
finish it. Once I start reading, and I tend to read them in the order they're in the pile, once I start reading Elantris and the rest of the pile is gone, I will then look at what I fancy next. And it will, I'll go over to my big bookcase and I think, hmm, I think I'll read that and I'll, I'm going to read that. Oh, I want to read that. And I'll, I'll put another stack of that eight to ten books next to my bed ready for me to read. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this quick little TBR what I'm, I'm planning on reading next. Like I said it could go into July, it could all be done by June. I mean I read in, in May was ridiculous. But yeah I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll let you know what I think about these books um, as and when I do a wrap up. I will be doing reading vlogs for the time being because I'm finding the weekly vlogs there's just not enough going on at the moment. What with me looking after my mum, I, I'm not comfortable filming her, she doesn't like being on camera. Um, but if we go on holiday and take her with us then she'll have to be, well she might be, a little bit, but not much. So uh, to be respectful of her I do spend a lot of time with her keeping her company now um, during the day when Jennifer's at school. So they will be more reading and colouring vlogs. Um, for the time being anyway. But I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you in the very next video. I will get my wrap up done as soon as I can in the next couple of days and hopefully you'll enjoy this video. I'll see you, <laughs> see you very soon. Bye guys. Bye.